All right, welcome everyone to the next episode of our playthrough of Pokemon Shield. So we're in the Champion Cup and we have Rayhan up next. So we are essentially one battle away from reaching Leon, who is the current champion, the undefeated champion. And yeah, so Rayhan was the eighth gym leader, so he was the last one that we faced before getting into the Champion Cup as well by finishing our gym challenge. Now we know that Rayhan is a dragon trainer so i wonder if we're just going to run his whole team with snips but i guess we'll find out and yeah so being one battle away from rayhan uh, from leon sorry is a uh, is a good position to be in and uh yeah so it's between us and leon's old rival <laughs> All right, we're not doing a double battle with him. Yeah, that's true. That, that'll be different. Oh, different music too. Neat. Torkoal. All right, that's not exactly a dragon, now is it? Um. Okay, I think we'll be alright anyway. Hopefully. Okay, it heated up. Yeah, let's start with an air slash. Okay, flinched. That's good. Let's just get him out of the way. Oh, or use a full restore. Either way. Um, but yeah, so what has been happening in the uh, overall Pokemon world? Um, still not much released about what's coming out later in the year. I think some new photos came out of... Uh, okay, good, he's not here this time. Of uh, Diamond and Pearl in the remakes. And look, I, I don't think there's anything that could really come out that could sway me from buying those games. I'm pretty much just waiting for a good deal to come out on whichever of the, the sites that I'll pre-order the game from to get uh, the steel book cases because I like collecting those. I'm actually considering ordering the special edition of Metroid Dread just to get the the copy of that as well. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's exciting with that. Um, there's two games that I think... Wow, how is that super effective and that did barely anything. Uh, but yeah, there's two games I'm looking at picking up before the remakes come out, one being Metroid Dread and the other probably being Monster Hunter Stories 2, because that's what I forgot to mention uh, last time when I said there wasn't anything that really interested me. Uh, they were both of those games, which, yeah, look, I, I really wanted to play Monster Hunter World, or Monster Hunter Rise, uh, which was the, the game that came out on Switch earlier this year, uh, but I don't really know anyone who's really playing it, and from what I've heard, it's a, it's a fairly popular game to play with people um, so I wasn't sure how I'd fare uh, trying to play it solo while I have heard that there is solo play involved as well um, it's just yeah it just wasn't something that I ended up picking up all right so we got Gudra out of the way everyone's leveling up and uh, yeah like I said in the previous video I've never really played through a Metroid uh, game so I'm tempted to pick up uh, Samus Returns on the 3DS just to see what what that's like. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, now it's getting rid of the... Didn't they just do Rain Dance with Gudra? Hmm. Okay. Sure, he's probably just gonna go and do Shield Trap anyway, or whatever they call it. Ah, it is uh, Shell Trap. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, Metroid will be interesting. <laughs> it's not a physical attack, so you can't attack me, can you? Uh, and then on the day that I'm recording this, because I always record this on the weekend prior to when I post it, uh, we've just had Tepig Community Day, which, uh, unfortunately I had to spend indoors because as as low as the cases have been in Australia, whenever there's the slight risk of any outbreaks, they force us into a, a snap three-day lockdown, 
So we went into lockdown on Wednesday night and it got extended on Friday night to include Saturday, which was community day. So I was a bit disappointed to, to not be able to go out and do what I normally do for community days, which is pretty much just go for like a super long walk and, uh, and just try and catch as many as possible. Uh, but all I did was um, made sure that I had massive stores of Pokeballs and Ultra Balls. I think I had about 500 of each. And then, uh, yeah, just uh, did the the $1 research and uh, had my Pokemon Go uh, catcher, the Pokeball thing going as well. So uh, I just, yeah, just pretty much had that thing running while uh, I've been playing The Last of Us as well because I never played that when it came out. Uh, eight years ago, uh, so I've been playing through that. So I got a bit bored of um, just sitting there catching something on my phone every every uh, like 30 seconds or so. So yeah, just turned on the uh, the Pokeball to just to alert me whenever there was something there to catch and push the button. Oh, we're already there already. Wow. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I haven't seen the exact count of how many shinies I got, but I got a fair few. Um, I didn't get. I'm still yet to get a Shundo, like a shiny hundo, of anything. Uh, I was really hoping I would get one of Tepig, because uh, Ambor's shiny is really cool. It's got like a blue flame around its neck instead of the red. Um, but I got a 96% non-shiny, uh, which I, I'll i probably just run with it as being my main one. Yeah, I don't think I'll really use it for anything. Yeah, I, oh, that wasn't the best. Okay. Really should pay attention to what I'm doing here. Uh, we'll get through it anyway. There's shouldn't really be that much of an issue. I might keep him for backup. I guess we could Dynamax you, blue up. Um, but yeah, so got a couple of shinies. I'll transfer some into Pokemon Home. Uh, I don't think they're in. No, they're they're not in Sword and Shield. So there's no point trying to transfer them into that which is a bit of a shame, uh, but yeah, just having the, I didn't pick Dynamax, did I? Probably not, oh well, um, but yeah, so having having that uh, in the, we didn't need to worry about it anyway, uh, in Pokemon Home will be good, uh, and then yeah, we'll just have to wait for the next starter community day, which will be Froakie in probably like a month or two, I'd say, probably, no, they'll probably do one a different Pokemon next month and then yeah probably make uh, September a starter again so that'll be good having a shiny uh, Greninja that'll be cool that will be a very popular community day, actually uh, but yeah so I uh, got a few of those and then other shinies I've come across I've had like random ones I think I've got a couple this week just from just um yeah just having it on while I've been walking around like I I did get a shiny Bidoof for the Bidoof day on July 1st, which was a very strange event to be part of in Pokemon Go. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, what else did I get? I got stuff like, uh, just like, just random shinies. I think uh, I was getting ready for work and I take my dog for a, a walk uh, every morning and I have uh, the, the step counter going for Pokemon Go, so it, I tend to be hatching eggs in the morning from after all those walks. And I think I was hatching a 7k egg, which has the Galarian stuff in there. So it's got like Galarian Ponyta and, and Zigzagoon. And I actually got a shiny Galarian Ponyta from the hatch. I had, yeah, I was just blown away from it. Uh, yeah. Whose side he's going to pick? Here we go. Um, so yeah, I, I almost didn't realize it at first because like I saw it hatch and then like I glanced at it. I'm like, oh great, Ponyta. And like I clicked out of it and I went, wait, that doesn't look like the normal color scheme. And I pulled it up and yeah, it was a shiny. And it's a, uh, in terms of IVs, it wasn't too bad. It's a three star, so it's it's somewhat decent. But yeah, I was uh, pretty thrilled to get that because uh, I'd done a few raids and hadn't gotten one. So it's uh, yeah, pretty cool. Like when you're not expecting to get something, it's uh, it's nice.
<laughs> All right, let's go. Uh-oh. Can't have our battle then, huh? You should go and help him then. Oh, there you go. I hope it really just te teleports us straight there. Okay. Just teleport us right to the end. I don't want to have to walk through all the mobs again. <laughs> Oh wow, thank you. Let's do some good old dodging while we're at it. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I think the 
is where the, yeah, the bigger stuff starts to pop up. Like your Galarian Weezings. Mental Herb. Is that going to take us back through? Yes, it is. This way, hug the wall, hug the wall. Wait, what was that? Smoke ball. Still love this background music. It was uh, great the first time we heard it, and yeah, I just love listening to it. Hey, here they are. She knew we were coming in here. Yep, and it certainly looks like a tomb. have a wait what does he say yep good thing I went back and spoke to him that would have sucked to walk there <laughs> He never changes. I 
That's where I'm going now. Do we need to heal? No. Let's go. Let me in. All right, then. A scavalia. Interesting. Fix the audio now that we aren't part of a gym battle. Yeah, let's raise that up a bit. Clink Lang. Oh, not very effective at all, huh? Time so we should still, yeah, there we go. Cool. Hmm. 
Hmm, I'm seeing a, a type here with everything, a theme with everything he's throwing out. It's not doing him any good though. still get to go first even though three Dynamaxes. I hope so. Let's just hope we attack first. Yeah. There we go. What does power split do? the same thing. <laughs> it's funny how the music shifts from uh, dark and ominous into celebratory very quickly. So is he the princess in that situation? So that is it for this episode. We will head up to the top and see how Leon is doing with Eternatus next time. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. See you later.